All right, if you're watching this, it's because you wanted to kind of get a head start on, uh, on the next practice, because um, this would be the natural progression of the next thing we're going to teach. Once we get, you know, everybody used to passing and cutting to the basket, right? Remember the whole idea of getting to the rim being the real key to the offense, which I've been over, you know, quite a bit. Um, we got to think of some other ways to get you to the rim, right? Got to think of some other ways to get you to a good scoring opportunity. So one of them, as we talked about before, is passing and cutting. And, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the best way to do it. If you're not going to just dribble there, just pass it and then cut. But there are other ways you can get to the rim, too. Like, for example, let's say that, you know, you're out here on the, on the outside and you're being denied the pass, okay? You know, the guy's right on you. What good are you doing, right? So we have this thing called this read line, a lot of you think of it as the three-point line, but we look at it as a read line so that if your defender is even just one foot over the read line, you know, or over the three-point line, it's just a great opportunity to just get to the rim, right? We're all about getting to the rim, and if this guy's going to deny a pass all the way out here, you want to just get to the rim, right? So that's just another way of getting to the rim. You either pass and cut to the rim automatically, or... Even if you're having passed the ball, if your defender is going to defend, is going to step all the way out there, you should immediately be blasting to the rim. Again, the whole idea is to get in a good scoring position, and the best way to do that is to go to the rim. And if they're going to come out and deny you, that's the next layer in this: is to make sure that if you get denied the pass that far out, this three-point line is your read line. It's your line that the guy steps over and you go right to the rim. So like here, here, this is your normal passing and cutting action like we learned before. And then let's say, again, that he passed that out over here against usual, you know, he's cutting to the basket like we've learned. And now let's say that this two is filling the spot like he's supposed to, but his defender just keeps going with him and denies. That's an automatic basket cut. See what happens? We take advantage of the fact that defenders love to get out in the passing lanes, and you take that as another way to get to the rim. Okay, This is the theme, thinking of ways and executing ways of getting to the rim. So we have your normal just dribble there, which we've, you know, we'll get to later, your normal penetration and your uh, you know, finishing moves. Then we're talking about passing and cutting, which is the we're doing every time. And this other thing, this using the read line, this automatic, you know, sign that it's time to get to the rim is when your defender steps even one foot over the line. So you look at it again. See? See your defender's right out there? Automatically, boom, right to the basket. We're passing and cutting again. See, here it comes. Here comes your defender. Even one foot over, boom, automatically go right there. It's a very powerful way to play basketball. Continuing to have people flowing at that rim puts a lot of pressure on the def on the defense, and again, this is your you know probably your second way to get to the rim as opposed to just passing and cutting there is using this read line to automatically know to just cut to the rim when your defender gets you know too far outside of it.